If you want to find out what's going on on the border, you watch Fox. Listen to this. One, uh, more than 1,000 migrants were released onto the streets in San Diego over the weekend. There was no place for them to go. The county ran out of money and had to close a shelter. Joining me now is Bill Wells. He's the mayor of El Cajon in, in San Diego County. What's... Can you just spread it out for us? Spell it out, please. What happened, Your Honor? Yeah, so normally we get about 300 drop-offs a day, and that's been pretty bad. But recently, the Border Patrol told us that we should expect 1,000 a day, and that's what's been happening. Uh, in the last five days, we've had 4,000 people that have come across, and th that's flooding the streets. Uh, you know, California is already the biggest uh, place where homeless people live in the nation, so that's already strained our resources to, to the capacity, I mean, really past capacity. And now you add this crisis with no money to help and no uh, idea of where these people are coming from or where they're going or what they're doing, and it's a humanitarian disaster. Your Honor, are they literally just wandering around the street, sleeping on the street, sleeping on the beach, just wandering around? On Is that what's going on? Well, you know, it's a mixed bag. Uh, when I was down there with Bill Malusian, and they were dropping people off from the buses, and they were immediately being taken on to another bus that the NGOs were running, taking them to another location, which took them to another bus, which took them to the San Diego airport. And uh, we, you know, I think that's all designed to be this cloak and dagger thing to keep us from knowing. We, we're not supposed to know who they are, or where they're going. But so we know that some of them are getting out of town on airports. We know a lot of them are sleeping in the airport and the rest of them, we have no idea. That's extraordinary. California is a sanctuary state. Is that likely to change anytime soon? Oh, no. You know, San Diego is the far bastion of left-wing political thought, oh. and they're more committed to the ideology than they are committed to keeping people safe. And they'd rather see the whole state and, frankly, the country go down than give up on this ideology that uh, open borders are a good idea and homelessness is a good idea. They're, they're definitely going off the cliff on this one. I know San Diego quite well. I lived there for a while. It's a beautiful place. It seems like it's, 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 it's a good if I, you know, I want to be a weather forecaster in San Diego because it's always th <laughs> 72 degrees and sunny. But I guess it's just it's, not, it's beautiful. <laughs> it, it is. Let, let, let me ask you this. How do the people in San Diego feel about Governor Newsom running for the presidency? You know, I think everybody realizes that Governor Newsom has been a disaster. You know, again, it goes back to this allegiance to party lines no matter what. And <clears throat> I think that it, it, even though their lives have been degenerated by homelessness, by out of control pricing, by the border surge, by um, just the law and order problems, I mean, we, we have almost no law and order here. Even though all those things, there's a a high percentage of people that vote Democrat that will vote for him no matter what. And that's a little disheartening. We saw that with the recall. But however, I want to give some hope because I think I feel uh, things are changing. <clears throat> I'm running for Congress right now. I'm out on the campaign trail. And I have Democrats coming up to me every day saying, I've never voted Republican in my life, but this has got to stop. We're finished. We're done. I'm voting for you. Good to hear if you're a candidate. Uh, Your Honor, thanks for joining us this morning. We wish you well, and we'll see you again sure? soon. <laughs> sure thing. See you soon.